So the first question is about a, uh, uh, is obviously from a woman. I met a man and we really get along. We spend a lot of our time together. We have similar goals and values and uh, he's not seeing anyone and he's very open about talking about himself and sharing moments with me. He's generous with his time and money. These are all great prerequisites for helping you to choose a, a man that may be right for you. But there's a but. He says, I'm not ready for a relationship. I like him and I see a future for us. Would he need some time alone without me to get ready? Or, so she's asking either or question, should I give him three to six months to see if he gets ready? Time alone without you, or I'm assuming you mean spending three to six months with him of your valuable time to see if he gets ready. If you've ever listened to the 12 stages of romantic relationship, I make it very clear in those CDs that a woman's youth and beauty is a precious commodity and that it does expire. Now, when you're 20, it seems like you got the rest of your life to be young and beautiful, but you don't. You just simply don't. Across the spectrum of all ages, men are unerringly attracted to women who are between 20 and 40. If you ask 100 guys what age group of women really attracts you and makes you want to, you know, be with them, marry them, if you could marry any woman in the world, how old would she be? right? Between 20 and 40 is almost always the answer. There may be men who have uh, been married a couple of times and who may be in their 50s or 60s. And if you ask them that question, they may say, you know what, I'd like to marry a woman that's closer to my age. In which case you, the question asker here, the person asking this question would not be qualified anyhow because he's not looking for you. To be very specific, your investment of your time and energy is an investment like a trust account. You have been given a gift that the Greeks called pogratude, po from the word pogoros, which means grace and beauty. And this pogratude opens doors for you, gives you access to, grants you certain privileges that people who are less graceful and less beautiful have to work for. Less young, less graceful, less beautiful have to work harder at it and may not be able to attract the same guy. That Pogritude ages and expires. So how much of your precious savings account, your trust account, your pogritude, do you want to invest in any particular man? I don't care if he's the greatest guy on earth. How much do you want to invest in him? If you feel like, uh, you know, this is really it and I'm going to make this guy, uh, you know, turn around and he's going to see that I'm the one for him. Okay, go ahead and make that investment. But I would say three to six months would be a maximum. If three months from now, you have a call after being with him and dating him and spending time with him, he can't figure out if he wants to be in a relationship with you or not. I would say move on. I would say have a conversation like I suggest in the 12 stages. And the conversation goes like this. We've been seeing each other for a little while now. I care about you, but I value myself even more. I need to know where do you see this conversation or this relationship is going and by when, then I will decide whether I want to continue to be available or whether I should move on to other options. And if he says, oh, I don't know, give me time. I don't want to, I don't want to be in a relationship and three months of your precious pogratude is passed, then you need to ask yourself how much more of your life energy do you want to invest? That's all. Listen, I also say in the 12 stages of romantic relationship that dating is for figuring out the answer to that question. And it is not about having sex with the guy in hoping that, you know, maybe by becoming addicted to you through sexual relationship, he will then be easier to convince or something. A man that makes decisions based on his addictions, his compulsions, is not a man that's trustworthy. And a woman who sells out her values to get a man is not trustworthy either. So here's two trustworthy people going at it, hoping it all works out. That's a very, very, very different scenario than uh, somebody who sets out with a life plan and who has a commitment and a promise to themselves that they're going to do whatever it takes to see that that's fulfilled, whether or not it looks like the, the world is agreeing with them or that it's going to work out. In other words, your commitment has nothing to do with anybody else. If you're committed to yourself and to having a lifelong partner that you share values with and that you grow with and that you, yeah, okay, you, you'll, you'll go through times where it doesn't work and times where, you know, it seems difficult or challenging and that's fine. That's fine. That's normal. If you want to have a partner for life, that's an investment and it takes 
making an irrevocable decision that you will only open your heart and your body to somebody who is on that same path. So that's my answer to that question. If you don't think it's a good investment, don't do it because you will be selling yourself short. If you think it's a good investment and that you can make it work, then 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 go for it, but then set a time limit on it, you know, and, and communicate that time limit. Don't surprise them with it. Don't think, oh, we'll just go along and then in 90 days or six months, I'll say, you know, it's over because you don't want to get married. You know, don't do that. Just tell them, look, I'm going to give this some time and I will see you. I will spend time with you. I'll see you. Uh, we can share a Affection and and you know hopefully our our care will grow with each other but I will not be having sex with you because I only want to have sex with a guy who's committed to having a long-term committed relationship with me and I'm not going to waste my time and my precious energy on anything less than that.